Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll Chapter 7 A Mad Tea Party There was a table set out under a tree in front of the house, and the March Hare and the Hatter were having tea at it. A Dormouse was sitting between them, fast asleep. The table was a large one, but the three were all crowded together at one corner of it. No room! No room! they cried out when they saw Alice coming. There's plenty of room, said Alice indignantly, and she sat down in a large armchair at one end of the table. The Hatter opened his eyes very wide on hearing this, but all he said was, Why is a raven like a writing desk? Ah. Oh. I'm glad they've begun asking riddles. I believe I can guess that, she added aloud. Do you mean that you think you can find out the answer to it? Said the March Hare. Ah, oh, yes. Exactly so, said Alice. Then you should say what you mean, the March Hare went on. I do, Alice hastily replied. At least, at least I mean what I say. That's the same thing, you know. You might just as well say, added the Dormouse, which seemed to be talking in its sleep. That I breathe when I sleep is the same thing as I sleep when I breathe. It is the same thing with you, said the Hatter, and he poured a little hot tea upon its nose. The Dormouse shook its head impatiently and said, without opening its eyes, Of course, of course, just what I was going to remark myself. Have you guessed the riddle yet? The Hatter said, turning to Alice again. No, I give it up, Alice replied. What's the answer? I haven't the slightest idea, said the Hatter. Nor I, said the March Hare. Alice gave a weary sigh. <sighs> I think you might do something better with the time, she said, than wasting it in asking riddles that have no answers.